What's up guys, Versatile Element here, and for my American viewers, my fellow Americans, I hope you enjoyed your Independence Day weekend, Independence weekend this past weekend. I am back with another product review, which I haven't done since January earlier this past year, on the PlayStation controller lights from Paladon, and we got another Paladon PlayStation product here. This is the Paladon PlayStation Symbol lights. First I had the controller lights review, and now I have the... PlayStation symbol slash icon lights and before we get into this review just wanted to say quickly a couple of points that this uh, that on camera this this video will look different from my thumbnail because I am I have never been an expert at photo editing lighting white balance and so on hopefully I'll get better next time second point if we move this a little to the right I've n I cannot clean up these uh marker scratches my marker scratches just these uh marker marks on the whiteboard in here in the background so i had to edit them out in the thumbnail with using uh snapseed on my phone and not photoshop or anything like that but nah, but yeah other than that let's get into the review here we have um there has a couple i should start up there's a couple of uh, options that you can have to light up the symbols uh, I have this. Uh, I can't speak right now. I have the option of of having three AAA batteries to to power this this icon lights. But there's also an option in the back, and and yes, the box comes with it, a, a USB or micro USB cable to actually connect this uh, symbol lights, icon lights directly to the power outlet. But I, but I prefer just to have batteries here, especially if you're ha if you happen to hook up these lights in a place where it's a little farther from the power outlet, or you don't, or you're displaying this in a place where there's no power outlet accessible. So those are two options: directly to the power, direct connection to the power, the power outlet, or three AAA batteries. Wish it was AA, but mm, AAA, and. And yes, this is uh, the bar uh, here, the stand, is gray. And I guess you could be careful of these lights, but it's gray, like the original Sony PlayStation, and not black, like I've seen before. I've, I've wanted this, this symbol light since about 2017 or 2018. And if you ever see Mystic or Mystic Ryan, in the background of his videos, he usually has the this symbol light in, in the background of his videos. But those are the older versions where the symbols are st are placed horizontally with each other and not stacked two by two, but yet yeah, you have um you have four options to four options to four lighting options I should say. This is first one and yeah the camera the balance and is is that what's that how is, how do you how do you say that oh, I can't speak how do you say that that the uh, exposure and the uh, and the lighting on camera is changing. Yeah, that's first option, second option, third option. I should say option, but that should be just the lighting, the lighting uh, setup. And here's the, f and that's the, and that's the last one. First, second, third, and it's off again. And as we go through, as as we go through watching this, these lights light up. Just let's go through a little trivia. If for anyone who doesn't know. Back in the uh, back when Sony made the PlayStation back in like 1994 or 1995, at least here in America, uh, they actually had actual meanings in mind for the symbols on for the controllers. Triangle is for the viewpoint. Square is like a map, and in Japan, circle and X. Yes and no, accept or reject. But here in America, they're switched. X marks the spot and circle is is reject, so like so, yeah, so yeah, so so I cannot think of an example from a game specifically, but press X to choose a part of a map or an option in the map, or to accept like a quest from a NPC and circle to back out. And there would be switch in the switch in Japan, switch here in America, because America, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. And there's another point I wanted to get to. Oh yeah, X. Which in Japan, PlayStation officially calls the, the X as Cross. Which is too late, Sony. 
too late, Sony. Us game, us uh, PlayStation fans are not going to adopt cross overnight. We we'll still keep on saying X for years to come, uh, even for the PlayStation Five that is being released later this fall. Especially if it's November twenty, if you go by the leaks for the PlayStation Five. I mean, you don't look at the Xbox side of things and see Microsoft going cross box, right? Cross box, cross box three sixty. Crossbox One, Crossbox One S, Crossbox One X, X, uh, Crossbox Series Cross. Can you imagine if Microsoft went through that Crossbox Series Cross? Yeah, and it's not even like the Christian Cross, but what am I saying? But yeah, um, going th after this, let's go through. Let us go through a small size comparison between the old Paladon PlayStation controller light. I keep on calling this the symbol light. But this is the controller light here. That's how the lighting looks like for the controller lights compared to the symbol lights. Yep. If this were an architecture class, I would I would compare the size of the controller light to the symbol lights as oh controller light is what the the home insurance building in Chicago, the very first skyscraper, and this is what and and the symbol lights uh, it's like what the Chrysler Building or Empire State Building. Or maybe in or maybe in actuality the home insurance building which is like ten stories tall. It's just up to this point. Up to this point of the base. <laughs> this corner of the base. But what am I saying? This is not architecture class. And yep. This and as far as price goes, they're usually they're usually on sale or just they're usually priced on Amazon, Think Geek, GameStop, etc. for about thirty dollars, thirty three, thirty two dollars, but I recently got the symbol, this symbol lights from ThinkGeek for twenty dollars. So, yeah, yeah, sale time. <laughs> steal, what a steal! Savings, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. So, I, I just saved money on this. So, yeah, <laughs> that was a, that was a surprise because at first, at first, uh, I was told oh, that the sale is just online, but then later on the. The employees, one of the employees checked, oh, it is, this, the sale does apply in, in store. So, yay, yay me. <laughs> so, yeah, th so this has been the PlayStation Symbol Light review, and my re and my product reviews like this aren't professional. They're a little more like if you watch Boogie 2988's reviews on like the, his arcade, on his, on his uh, one-up arcade machines. I kind of compared these reviews like his. Or the old school Techno Buffalo Xbox uh, Xbox 360 Slim unboxing slash review versus versus the Xbox 360 regular regular Xbox 360. But yep, this is the PlayStation Symbol Lights. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Even though I keep on rambling all over the place and I just keep on talking, 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 talk, 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 talking. And yeah, hope it. And yeah, if yeah, I already showed you the price. I told you the price and. And I hope that if you uh, like PlayStation, you'll be able to get, you'll be able to find this interesting to uh, buy one day. And by the way, FTC, this is not, I repeat, not a sponsorship by PlayStation or Paladon. Just, I just bought a product like this and I just wanted to review it. And yep, this has been the review for the Paladon PlayStation Symbolites. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. And, uh, and maybe if you'll, consider buying this buying this one day again not a sponsor versatile element signing out and i'll see you guys in the next video the next two videos i should say which are going to be funko pop reviews so see you tomorrow it's versatile element signing out and see you in the next one